Yeah, sadly, we've been able to confirm that actually the, the number of British citizens who are among the dead has uh, risen to eight. Um, what we don't know at this stage either is the number of people that have been injured and the concerns will be that that could actually be even higher. Uh, the Foreign Office itself is really trying to steer people towards their website when it comes to the advice that they're, they're giving out to people. Uh, the advice for people that are out in Sri Lanka who might have been caught up in these attacks really is to contact the British High Commission who can then put you in touch with consular staff who are out there who can give you any support that you might need if you have been affected by the attacks out there. If you're in Sri Lanka and um, you have uh, had uh, been uh, obviously near to some of these attacks but you haven't actually been caught up with them, they are recommending that people should uh, contact their relatives uh, back here in the UK because obviously the Foreign Office has been inundated with calls from people here in this country that have been uh, concerned about about what might have happened to their relatives. Communications on the grounds are very hard at the moment. But yes, we've had confirmation, certainly uh, within the last few minutes, that the number of British citizens has now uh, risen to uh, eight people. And that's at least eight people. There's concerns uh, that that could be even higher. Um, in terms of people in the UK trying to uh, make contact with people out on the ground in Sri Lanka, we know that communications have been, to some extent, disrupted by the fact that social media networks networks have uh, been uh, reduced and uh, been uh, affected really by what's going on in the ground. There's been concern really by the government about uh, misinformation being spread, so they've limited uh, some social networks. So if you are trying to get hold of someone through Facebook or through WhatsApp, then do bear in mind that that uh, might be affected and it might not be the best way to try to contact someone. Overnight, we've uh, also heard from Jeremy Hunt, who said that over the coming days, the UK fully intended, intends to support Sri Lanka in any way uh, that they can. They've also cautioned against uh, really any speculation as to who might have been behind these attacks. The reality is that attacks on Christians have been growing. 3,000 deaths in the last year alone. That was double the previous year and perhaps there hasn't been as much attention focused on the persecution of Christians as there should have been and that's why the Foreign Office has asked for an independent review to be done by the Bishop of Truro to look into what more we in the UK could do to defend the rights of Christians across the world. It is still very early stages in terms of the Foreign Office really releasing any information in terms of those that might have been affected in the attacks out there. But certainly we've had confirmation now that the number of British citizens who are among the dead has risen to eight. Katie, many thanks. Uh, well, let's return to Neville Lazarus uh, joining us from Sri Lanka. I mean, Neville, the, what we were hearing in the, in the last hour, further to the curfew that took place last night, there will again be an 8 to 4 curfew uh, where you are. That's correct, Neil. It's, uh, they're going to have curfew from 8 to 4. Yesterday it was from 6 uh, p.m. In, in the evening to 6 a.m. And nothing moved uh, yesterday on the streets. Today there has been a bit of traffic on the road. People have come out, but there is an underlying tension out here. It is slow, slowly crawling back to normalcy, but it will take some time. Investigations into these attacks have started. The president uh, uh, setting up a, in, a special investigating committee into these attacks, and the initial report is supposed to be uh, given in within two, two weeks. But at the moment, the security forces taking no chances. There are, there are military, uh, army, army personnel almost every 30 yards on, on every street that we've been through in the city. So they're taking it very serious at the moment. Uh, they don't feel the, 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 it, it, it's over as in terms of the attacks because uh, the police have said they've taken in 23 suspects till now. Uh, and they are going. To, uh, they're, they're searching homes. Yesterday, uh, the police told us that uh, three of their men were killed when they re went into a home which they suspected of, of being used by the by, by the terrorists. And there was there were two bomb blasts which killed three of the per, uh, their their people. So they're taking it very cautiously and meticulously at the moment in the city out here in Colombo.